everyone, it's Jay Shetty, and I am so excited to let you know that my latest podcast interview is with the one and only Tom Hanks. I have left many wonderful atmosphere or a loving atmosphere without thinking, oh, things were really wonderful back then. I wish I was back there. Jay, I don't think I've ever thought that. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. I'm Julian Edelman. I'm Rob Gronkowski. And we are super excited to tell you about our new show, Dudes on Dudes. We're spilling all the behind-scenes stories, crazy details, and honestly, just having a blast talking football. Every week, we're discussing our favorite players of all times, from legends to our buddies to current stars. We're finally answering the age-old question, what kind of dudes are these dudes? We're going to find out, Jules. New episodes drop every thursday during the nfl season listen to dudes on dudes on the iheart radio app apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts hello my undeadly darlings it's teresa your resident ghost host and do i have a treat for you haunting is crawling out from the shadows and it's going to be devilishly good we've got chills thrills and stories that'll make you wish the light stayed on so join me won't you Let's dive into the eerie unknown together. Sleep tight, if you can. Listen to Haunting on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, Hey friends. friends. I'm Jessica Capshaw. And this is Camilla Luddington. And we have a new podcast. Call it what it is. You may know us from Graceland Memorial, but did you know that we are actually besties in real life? And as all besties do, we navigate the highs and lows of life together. Big or small, we're there. And now here we are, opening up the friendship circle to you. Listen to Call It What It Is on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. From tips for healthy living to the latest medical breakthroughs, WebMD's Health Discovered podcast keeps you up to date on today's most important health issues. Through in-depth conversations with experts from across the healthcare community, WebMD reveals how today's health news will impact your life tomorrow. It's not that people don't know that exercise is healthy. It's just that people don't know why it's healthy. And we're struggling to try to help people help themselves and each other. Listen to WebMD Health Discovered on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. And you never know, it could be yours. It could be yours. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is. Strawberry letter. Thank you. Thank you, nephew. Subject, he had dinner at her house. Dear Stephen Shirley, my husband and I have a blended family, but my side has blended and his has not. His 12-year-old child said she didn't feel comfortable in our home, and we understand it because I have two sons. For the past year, she's done activities with us, and we pick her up and take her back home. Most of the time, my husband does things with her by himself, and he doesn't ask me and my sons to join them. My husband said he has to go the extra mile to make his daughter feel included, and that's fine with me. I always assumed when he said he was spending time with his daughter, they were out doing things together, not at his ex-wife's house. I called him one day while he was with his daughter, and she answered his phone. I could hear him in the background saying to give him the phone. He got the phone and quickly said he'd call me back and he hung up in my face. I called back and it went straight to voicemail. I texted and asked if, uh, and asked if he was all right. He texted back that he was fine. I called his daughter's phone to see if everything was really okay. And she said she couldn't talk to me because her daddy got mad when she answered his phone. She assured me that everything was fine. Uh, it's just that Her dad didn't want me to know he was eating dinner at their house. She told me not to tell her dad that she talked to me, and I told her that I couldn't promise her that. My husband was over there playing house with his ex-wife and his daughter, but he sweared it was swears it was a one-time thing, and it will never happen again. If that's true, why couldn't he talk to me, and why did he tell his daughter not to talk to me? Does he think... It is proper co-parenting, or does he take me for a fool? Mm. 
Uh, yeah, he, he was wrong for that. He was. I mean, most dads do like you guys were doing, picking the kids up from their mom's house and then dropping them back off. But no, not your husband. Mm -mm. He's all inside at the dinner table, eating with them and everything. Uh, wrong move, Dad. And, and if everything is fine and he was just spending time with his daughter, why didn't he answer his phone when you called? He could have told you himself that everything was okay on the phone. He panicked and made... Th this way worse than it had to be by his guilty behavior. Now he's busted and is in trouble with you, and he lives with you, not his ex-wife. You're going to be calling him even more now, asking him more questions when he takes his daughter out. You're going to want to go with them, all of the above. I, I do want to say this, though. By his daughter talking to you and explaining to you what was going on and everything, that says the two of you have a pretty good relationship. So... Please try to keep that going because it's not her fault. Your husband knew better than to be over there eating dinner. He knew you wouldn't like it. Didn't he think you might call or something? I mean, there's always that possibility. There's that. So now he's got to fix it. And I hope he does right by you and stop going over to his exes to eat dinner. Steve? Well, now. <laughs> you know, I kind of see both sides of this. See, he had dinner at her house. That right there, I can't do. I'm not having dinner at my yeah. ex's house under no damn circumstance. I'd be scared to eat the food because I think she's still <laughs> trying to kill me. What? So, this is not about nobody's yo, trying I'm, to I'm kill just, you. I'm just saying why I can't go none of my ex's house trying to eat. Because I <laughs> still think. Uh -uh. <laughs> they tried to kill me. Stop saying I'm, that. I'm just, you know, and I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, but you're better safe than sorry. It's it's what you need to start operating under. <laughs> uh, here's the deal: y'all got a blended family, but my side has blended and his has not. See, the, see, I don't think you understand what that means. See, his twelve year old child says she didn't feel comfortable in our home, and we understand it because we have two sons. Okay, so now if you understand that she don't feel comfortable because your boys is giving her the side eye for a number of reasons. Oh. So now this little girl just don't feel comfortable. For the past year, she's done activities with us. We pick her up and take her back home. Mm -hmm. Well, she don't live there. So you pick her up and take her back home. So he's co-parenting with this woman. Most of the time, my husband does things with her by himself and doesn't ask me and my son to join them. My husband said he has to go the extra mile to make his daughter feel included, and that's fine with me, okay? All this is good so far. I always assumed that when he was going to spend time with his daughter, they were out doing things together, not at his ex-wife's house. Well, I would assume the same thing, too. Yeah. I wouldn't assume that he'd be over his ex-wife's house. Because like I said, I can't go to mine. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> I know, I know I'm, I've, I'm not going to do that. Finish your answer, please. If they did welcome me over there, I think it would be to kill me. So <laughs> why, why would I go? <sighs> would you stop? I'm just saying. Please. I called him one day while he was at his daughter, with his daughter, and she answered his phone. I could hear him in the background saying, give him the phone. He got the phone and quickly said he'd call me back, and he hung up in my face. Mm. I called back, and it went straight to voicemail. I text asked, was he all right? He texted me back, said he was fine. So I called his daughter phone to see if everything was really okay. No, you ain't really called to see if everything's really okay. You was doing your investigative duty. And? I called his daughter phone to see if everything was really okay. She said she couldn't talk to me because her daddy got mad when she answered the phone. The hell you answer phone for? <laughs> I love the daughter. She told it all. That ain't your phone? <laughs> Hello. All right, hang on, Steve. We'll have part two. Uh, hello, of hell. Response. Coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Today's Strawberry Letter subject, he had dinner at her house. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey, everyone. It's Jay Shetty, and I am so excited to let you know that my latest podcast interview is with the one and only Tom Hanks. Tom rarely does long-form interviews, so I was so grateful to have the time to dive deep into family, mental health, and the mindset behind his long, successful career. 
dude, I travel light. And I can travel light emotionally. I'm done. There's stuff that I cannot control. I have left many a uh, uh, wonderful atmosphere or a loving atmosphere or a friendly atmosphere. And uh, like uh, Ernie Banks, the, uh, you know, the ball player for the Chicago Cubs, without ever looking back, without thinking, oh, things were really wonderful back then. I wish I was back there. Jay, I don't think I've ever thought that. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. I'm Julian Edelman. I'm Rob Gronkowski. Guess what, folks? We're teammates again. And we're going to welcome you guys all to Dudes on Dudes. I'm a dude. You're a dude, and Dudes on Dudes is our brand new show. We're going to highlight players, peers, guys that we played against, legends from the past, and we're just going to sit here and talk about them. And we'll get into the types of dudes. What kind of types of dudes are there, Gronks? We got studs, wizards. We got freaks. Or dudes dudes. We got dogs. Dog. We'll break down their games. We'll share some insider stories and determine what kind of dude each of these dudes are. Is Randy Moss a stud or a freak? Is Tom Brady a dog or a dude's dude? We're going to find out, Jules. New episodes drop every Thursday during the NFL season. Listen to Dudes on Dudes on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Jack B. Thomas, the host of a brand new Black Effect original series, Black Lit. The podcast for diving deep into the rich world of Black literature. I'm Jack Peace Thomas, and I'm inviting you to join me in a vibrant community of literary enthusiasts dedicated to protecting and celebrating our stories. Black Lit is for the page turners, for those who listen to audiobooks while commuting or running errands, for those who find themselves seeking solace wisdom and refuge between the chapters from thought-provoking novels to powerful poetry we'll explore the stories that shape our culture together we'll dissect classics and contemporary works while uncovering the stories of the brilliant writers behind them blacklit is here to amplify the voices of black writers and to bring their words to life listen to blacklit on the iHeartRadio app apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, James Brown, B.B. King, Miriam Makiba. I shook up the world. James Brown said, say it loud. And the kid said, I'm black and I'm proud. Black boxing stars and black music royalty together in the heart of Zaire, Africa. Three days of music and then the boxing event. What was going on in the world at the time made this fight as important as anything else is going on on the planet. My grandfather laid on the ropes and let George Foreman basically just punch himself out. Welcome to Rumble, the story of a world in transformation. The 60s and prior to that, you couldn't call a person black. And how we arrived at this peak moment. I don't have to be what you want me to be. We all came from the continent of Africa. Listen to Rumble, Ali, Foreman, and The Soul of 74 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, Hey friends. friends. I'm Jessica Capshaw. And this is Camilla Luddington. And we have a new podcast. Call it what it is. You may know us from Graceland Memorial, but... Did you know that we are actually besties in real life? And as all besties do, we navigate the highs and lows of life together. And what does that look like? A thousand pep talks, a million I've got you's, some very urgent I'm coming overs. Because, I don't know, let's face it, life can get even crazier than a season finale of Grey's Anatomy. And now here we are, opening up the friendship circle. To you. Someone's cheating? We've got you on that. In-laws are in line? Let's get into it. Toxic friendship? Air it out. We're on your side to help you with your concerns. Talk about ours. And everyone once in a while, bring on an awesome guest to get their take on the things that you bring us. While we may be unlicensed to advise, mm, we're going to do it anyway. Listen to Call It What It Is on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter. The subject is he had dinner at her house. (sighs) This man, (laughs) he's got a daughter that's 12. He's remarried. The woman he married has two boys. His daughter, 12, she lives with his ex-wife. When 
when she's time for him to get visitations, she comes to the house. Now, she done told everybody she don't really feel comfortable at the house because them two young boys who you ain't telling me their age is going, oh, okay, what's happening? I see you. What's up, little girl? Now, she uncomfortable. So now, they do spend some activities together, but he spends a lot of time with her by herself, and he says he's got to go the extra mile to make her feel special. You said you understood that. So sometimes they do stuff alone that don't include her and her sons. You got to understand that too. I called him one time while he was with his daughter and she answered the phone. I could hear him in the background saying, give me the phone. He got the phone and quickly said, I'll call you back and he hung up in my face. Hmm. I called it back and went straight to voicemail. So I called his daughter's phone to see if everything was really okay. That ain't why you call. You was doing some investigation. She says she couldn't talk to me because her daddy got mad when she answered the phone. <laughs> she assured me that everything is fine. Everything okay, uh, 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 Mama J, or whatever she called her, or, or, or disallowed. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just that her dad didn't want me to know the eating dinner at her house. And I told her that I couldn't promise her that. And my husband was over there playing house with his ex-wife and his daughter. But he swears it was a one-time thing and it never happened again. If that's true, why couldn't he talk to me? And why did he tell his daughter not to talk to me? Does he think this is proper co-parenting or does he take me for a fool? So now here's the problem we have in this letter. I've read the whole thing to you. Here's the problem. The man has a daughter that's uncomfortable at the house. She has said this, so he spent some time alone. Now, the time alone, the wife is assuming they're going somewhere in the activity. Mm-hmm. But she called his phone. Mm-hmm. The little girl answered the phone and said, no, Hi. hold on. <laughs> get, give me the phone. Don't pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Baby, is everything okay? Yeah, everything fine. Click. Mm. So she called right back. It go to voicemail. He turned the phone off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Because he don't need this information out. She called the little girl's phone and say, is everything okay? Yes, Mama J, everything is just fine. You don't have to worry about it. So she said she couldn't talk to me because her daddy got mad. She assured me everything was fine. It's just her daddy didn't want me to know he was eating dinner at their house. She told God everything. <laughs> Now, like Shirley said, (laughs) you got a a really cool relationship with the girl, Mm -hmm. but then she is a girl now. Mm -hmm. Was she telling you this to make you feel reassured? Or was she being a little girl and going, I got some information for you, though. She's just 12. Uh, 12 12-year-olds are slick now. (laughs) <laughs> These kids nowadays, they know what trouble is. They watch all the housewives show. They know how to start <laughs> stuff. She told me not to tell her dad. She talked to me and told her I couldn't. I told her I couldn't promise that. See, that's women for you right there. Mm-hmm. The little girl told you a secret and asked you, please don't tell my daddy that I talked to you. I told her I can't promise you nothing because <laughs> I'm a girl too. <laughs> and damn it, since we telling stuff, we going to all be telling stuff. See, that's why. That's why, man. She should see. She should have said, okay, I'm not going to tell her. Exactly. And then just found a slick way to bring it up to your husband. So, baby, when I called you and you hung up, where were you? You didn't even have to involve the little girl anymore. I can't promise you I won't say nothing. No, yes, you should have. See, that's how you have trust with your kids. Mm -hmm. You got to create trust. But if if they think they can tell you something, you go and run and tell it. How many times you think she gonna be honest with you now? So, 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 so so whose side you on? Yeah, and and then like Bishop Bronner said, you have to be careful with a person who is playing a victim of a circumstance they created themselves. So ain't no need of your daddy talking about no, what you what you give her the phone for? What you do that for? Dog, why you got this 12-year-old involved in your mess? Mm. 
You know your wife would not approve of you having dinner over your ex's house, but you're going to go over there and then let your little girl and then answer the phone, talking about I'll call you right back. You should have stepped outside and started your life. <laughs> Where y'all at? We at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and why you outside? Because it's noisy as hell in there. <laughs> let me talk to her. She playing with some friends. <laughs> Chuck, e. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> See, mm, yeah, yeah, he messed that up for himself. He did. So, was that the second half of my letter? Uh huh. Yes, <laughs> yes. Post your comments on today's <laughs> you, strawberry I ain't letter. Nothing else to say. <laughs> Steve, you ran out of gas. Damn, Steve dog, Harvey you in FM trouble on Instagram and Facebook. And check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on the free iHeartRadio app. Free, never sounded so good. Download it today. Coming up at 46 minutes after the hour, it's Junior and Sports Talk right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey, everyone. It's Jay Shetty, and I am so excited to let you know that my latest podcast interview is with the one and only Tom Hanks. I have left many wonderful atmosphere or a loving atmosphere without thinking, oh, things were really wonderful back then. I wish I was back there. Jay, I don't think I've ever thought that. Listen to On Purpose with Jay Shetty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. I'm Julian Edelman. I'm Rob Gronkowski. And we are super excited to tell you about our new show, Dudes on Dudes. We're spilling all the behind scenes stories, crazy details, and honestly, just having a blast talking football. Every week, we're discussing our favorite players of all times, from legends to our buddies to current stars. We're finally answering the age-old question, what kind of dudes are these dudes? We're going to find out, Jules. New episodes drop every thursday during the nfl season listen to dudes on dudes on the iheart radio app apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts hello my undeadly darlings it's teresa your resident ghost host and do i have a treat for you haunting is crawling out from the shadows and it's going to be devilishly good we've got chills thrills and stories that'll make you wish the light stayed on so join me won't you Let's dive into the eerie unknown together. Sleep tight, if you can. Listen to Haunting on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, Hey friends. friends. I'm Jessica Capshaw. And this is Camilla Luddington. And we have a new podcast. Call it what it is. You may know us from Graceland Memorial, but did you know that we are actually besties in real life? And as all besties do, we navigate the highs and lows of life together. Big or small, we're there. And now here we are, opening up the friendship circle to you. Listen to Call It What It Is on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. From tips for healthy living to the latest medical breakthroughs, WebMD's Health Discovered podcast keeps you up to date on today's most important health issues. Through in-depth conversations with experts from across the healthcare community, WebMD reveals how today's health news will impact your life tomorrow. It's not that people don't know that exercise is healthy. It's just that people don't know why it's healthy. And we're struggling to try to help people help themselves and each other. Listen to WebMD Health Discovered on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts.